What is going on you guys? It is your boy Omzi here back assassination classroom. Koro Sensei is in a predicament. If you guys haven't seen the last episode, Principal Asano has put Koro Sensei in one hell of a predicament. My god, he has him literally surrounded by all these books that have certain grenades inside of them and he doesn't know which one is the real one that will take out humans and shit. And even still in the amount of time that those things have in order to detonate, he has to solve the problem and try to get that in the most minimal amount of time. So I I don't know how he's gonna get out of this i know he is i just don't know how but principal asano he was really pissed that class a has fallen so low so to say even though it was his teachings and his freaking methods and shit that put him in this spot and even backhanding the hell out of his son as well the principal is pretty much at his wits end so now he has to take drastic measures and kind of bullshit measures in order to kill koro sensei and to put class e where he truly believes they belong and it's still even with koro sensei being the sole reason of where class e has finally gone to right now he is going to take him out and we're going to see if that happens how it happens just everything you can add so many questions into this episode if you guys are new to the channel you guys let my reaction like subscribe comment down below and if you guys been notified and release those videos make sure to smash that notification bell but with that being said let's get right in that episode End of term exams were over. Victory was totally Yeah, victory was ours. And immediately, so, Principal showed up and was like, Nope! <laughs> the man challenged his rival to a one-sided game. Mm-hmm. Come now, Koro-sensei. Validate my ideology and be the cornerstone of my vision. Validate. <laughs> Oh, what did he do? Alrighty, oh, did he rip out the page? Then closed. Fortunately, I just so happen to remember more or less which questions are on what page in this particular series of books. Okay. Math was the only trouble spot. That one's been loaned out to a student for so long I'd forgotten. Hmm. Huh? You know these books backwards and forwards? A rather remarkable coincidence. Ho -ho. Not just these. I've committed all of Japan's test materials to all of them. You say no moving out of the blast radius until the given problem is solved? Very well. That little caveat is nothing to a passionate educator. Damn, he actually did his work. I sincerely thought you'd gotten the better of me, huh? My, my. A class's crushing defeat must have wow. been I'm afraid this one dimensional strategy <laughs> may wind up getting. He stumped the hell out of the principal. Here we have it. The last book. Your turn, I believe. What does it feel like? Staring your own demise. At the <laughs> oh. They oh. say one's life flashes before one's eyes. Oh man. What do you see, Principal? What do you see, Principal? That exemplary brain. Sir. Wow. Sir. Mr. Osino. Flashback. <laughs> he was. Effort, Ikeda. Maybe next time. He wasn't letting that slide. Hey, a deal's a deal. So study and behave yourself today. Wow, finally a freaking principal no, flashback. Sir, totally a superhuman or something. Hey, Mr. Asano, why does a beast like you start a cram school in an abandoned shack like this? I thought you graduated. Wow, so he was the one that started this, too. No offense, sir, but it seems like a waste of talent to me. Not well, to mention thanks, we all kid. Hike. All I ask is you try to be good students. Remember, the bar is set differently for everyone. Hmm. But your enthusiasm is an asset. He could, uh, has his At least they actually like are happy with his and teachings and actually want teachings. like. You see, huh. each of you has your very own strength. But you're right. I do have my work cut out for me. To properly teach you, I'm going to need to have all your strengths combined and more. <laughs> the private cram school was off to a promising start. Yeah. Three students of my inaugural term were ideal. Uh huh. In the peace and quiet of the mountain. I can shape their minds. So why did it get abandoned? A model education. Oh, oh come on. Don't be a baby. I gave you a heads up. Next time, move. <laughs> Are you a snail? We just got out. Really? Why are you so rowdy? Whatever. Basketball stars can't just study. Give me a break. I've got tons of pens of I swear that's Bryce. <laughs> I swear that's Bryce. Basketball star. Fine dream. Damn! <laughs> Play a little one-on-one. -on -one. Uh-uh. Look at Asano's face. <laughs> Look at the principal. I have one or two abilities you haven't cultivated in yourself just yet, huh? Man, this is a so this is a very different principal. Same about you. I put everything I had into my daily lesson plans. But what happened? Just one year, 
The students were coming along brilliantly. Okay. But what happened? Oh, so What's that's this? how we got it. A Kanuki Oakley Kai Club. Neat, huh? We pulled our allowances together to buy it. Oh, it was a nice gift. You and he kept it to this very day. Now, now, just because it's grown a thousand percent. Wow. You, you seriously, seriously could have kept that to yourself. <laughs> I, I'll cherish this. Wow. <laughs> Hey, you got us into hey, is that mob? No, schools. I'm joking. No I'm way joking. we could have done it without you. Wow. When I grow up, Moving sir, on. Do you mind if I come and visit sometime? <laughs> How time flies. They've grown into such wonderful students. <sighs> so what's what happened Parents next? Saw my track record. Soon children enrolled from all over. Yeah. Three short years later, my little cram school was booming. Uh-huh. Ikada. Great to hear from you. Long time no see. Things are going good for you, huh? Can't complain. What can I do for you? Booming. Oh, nothing really. I just wanted to catch up and see how you were doing. That's very kind. Thank you. Why does this look off? Uh, what about you? Not out there causing trouble, I hope. <laughs> no, sir. I'm just a regular Samaritan now, thanks to you. Hmm. Anyway, you sound busy. I should let you go. Let's do dinner sometime. Your treat, of course. Later. Why does this seem off? Like, very off. <laughs> Shit. Shit. Oh my god. They said it was a suicide. Oh my, why did I get the feeling? Used to beat him up and take his money. Poor thing couldn't take it anymore. That's awful. And he'd been such a sweet boy since junior high. Still though. I mean, Hold on, let me, let me, I, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm sorry to just stop it. I, I had the feeling, the distinct feeling on the facial expression and where the hell he was at. Because if we go back to where that kid was, he literally is standing on a bridge, which more than likely, I mean, we don't know what's under that fucking bridge, but then again, it doesn't matter. Oh my God. Let's see what the hell happened. That's awful. And he'd been such a sweet boy. So young. Still, though, I mean, you'd think the young man would stand up for himself. Damn, I wonder what's going through his mind. What on earth have I been teaching these children? How to be good students? What was I thinking? Does dying make you a good student? Huh. I have an obligation to make them strong. Yeah. This will have been for nothing. But then, what is strength? Until I have the answer, I have no right to teach. Wow. From there, things changed quickly. I learned all sorts of strengths. Yeah, strength at least within himself. Who drove my student to suicide. Soon, I opened another school. Hmm. The old campus building that symbolized my weakness would stand as a lesson to others. A lesson. Strong. Wanted to make them strong. That's strong why. Strong young men and women who could survive, sacrificing others if need be. I love that we're getting all this now. To that end, I would need more funding, more staff. Then he turned if to the government. My goal, I would use them all to educate, to breed true strength. Yeah. Yet here I stand, abandoned by the strong and the weak alike. The only thing before me, certain death. Certain death. <laughs> what will it be, Principal? Wow, we got a lot about that. You may be an exceptional human being, sir, but taking a grenade blast won't end well for you. This was your idea, in case you forgot. But hey, it's no big deal. Just gracefully admit defeat. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the hell up. Aware. Fire Koro Sensei all you want, it doesn't make any difference to us. Don't get us wrong, it'll be sad to leave this place behind. But whatever comes, we're going right along with him. Aww. That's right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's crying his eyes out. <laughs> Ikas has been a thorn in my side all year. Such presumptuous, bald faced defiance. Mm -hmm. Such a stain. He's want to talk about toughness and strength. They are it. You may well destroy the earth. Even so, as far as my educational philosophy, it would make absolutely no difference whatsoever. <laughs> God! Either now or in March, death will come for us all in the end. Strength won't matter. My students won't suffer alone. 
and in a way, my vision will have been fulfilled. Um, could we see the aftermath, please? <laughs> okay, I was about to say. He wasn't. He wasn't never gonna let him die. And why precisely would you not use it on yourself? Because I was saving it for you, silly man. Yeah. I suspected it wouldn't affect him anyway. If were fairly good, you'd think nothing of blowing yourself to bits. Mm hmm How could you be so sure of what I'd do? Because we have a lot in common. Mm. We're both stubborn education fiends, willing to forfeit our lives for the privilege of molding young minds. True. I hope you won't mind, but I took the liberty of speaking to your old cram school students. Really? I get their impressions of you as a teacher. Imagine my surprise upon learning that the idea of teaching you exemplified 12 years ago is identical to mine. Though as far as Aww. students are concerned, I've been lucky. E-class is a marvelous proving ground. Mm -hmm. There are a fair number of students, you see, and they all share the same predicament. These boys and girls work as a team. True. They have so many qualities that they've molded if together. Point out, credit for conceiving of and implementing this class goes first and foremost to you. Man, this is nuts. Don't you see, sir? You've been abiding by the same vision you began with all along. Incidentally, I'm the only thing this knife can kill. <laughs> the taking of human life. He's been no doing way. exactly what he's made class E. They're it. What he embodies. It's them. Life. So why not stay true to ourselves and continue down this road? Wow. So long as you acknowledge its proper function, I see no reason why you and E-Class can't remain here as you are. Wow. <laughs> Still too proud to admit defeat, I <laughs> True. Oh, and do you mind if I pop by and try my hand at killing you once in a while? Mm. Be my guest. Always happy to oblige your I can't father. believe this. It's crazy. Huh. Asano. That pristine facade is crumbling. Mm. You've lost, I can tell by your face. Something I can help you with. <laughs> no, no. Just thought I'd come by to cheer you up. Not and show you my wounded face. Yeah. Perhaps some monetary compensation would help ease the pain a bit. <laughs> But feel free to take me to court. Though, of course, don't expect to win. You'll Damn. You'll never win against me, Asuna. Damn! No matter how strong you think you become. Damn. And what makes you so certain of that? Because I don't intend to ever stop growing. As a teacher or as a father. Wow. So, yeah. About that reward. About that reward. Uh. <laughs> in return for ranking in the top 50, I promise to share a critical weakness. Yeah. Well, children, I have, in fact, very little power. I'm designed for speed. When at a perfect standstill, one of my tentacles can be held down even by a single person. Easily. Hey, wait, if eight of us teamed up on you all at once... Could be done. You're saying we could essentially paralyze you, right? Man, if we had known that sooner, this would have been easy as <laughs> This was You only told us because you knew it'd be impossible. <laughs> Not having any luck? <laughs> you hand fishing for slime. Oh my lord. A what? Shwarma? Drama. I was like, what the hell did they say? Oh, I know. So then for our main crew, Mimura will direct. What about Kinzaki? Kasama will write, naturally. Huh? What about Kinzaki is the main lead? Mm -hmm. You know, I'm available. <laughs> <laughs> like, Shut the hell up. <laughs> uh... It's all about the kids. One where you can be the lead without upstaging. Let me guess, you get killed. Great. Sounds like a plan. Let's put on a show the likes of which those main campus chumps have never seen. We're already here. E class goes on next. I say we eat loudly and sneer to the You eat your whopper and you shut the hell up. What in the world? The greatest medical minds are baffled. But by some strange miracle, there's a baby growing inside. Upon hearing this, the old His face. Up. <laughs> Excellent, he thought. That's Sugino? This peach will bring riches. What a stroke of luck. A miracle indeed. People will pay good money to see this peach. They'll come from far and wide. I'll be richer than any king. Divorce papers. The old woman had been thinking of leaving him for some time. 
His greed, <laughs> choice of words, and complete disregard for child welfare decided... The way she... Oh, oh it's Ritsu reading it. Okay, which makes sense. The marriage was over. <laughs> for good. That took a turn. I am the head of this household. Do you understand, woman? I'll decide how to divide our property. <laughs> Lawyers. Lawyers! <laughs> Communication oh my lord! The sh like the the We're the shots. <laughs> Since this marriage has technically been on the rocks for over a decade, we're well past the mandated cutoff date for carving up your combined assets. Damn. So, and fair warning. He can't win. Operations for emotional distress. For thirty years, she borne her husband's cruelty, mm. his disinterest. Not only had he consistently failed to bring home the bacon, the old woman possessed incontrovertible evidence of his infidelity. Damn. He wouldn't have a prayer. So he was a player. He hired a band of thugs to strong on her, but being incompetent, they were hauled off by police. This shit's hilarious, I'm not gonna lie. The woman shed her misery and started over. She gave the Miracle Peach pride of place in her lovely new home. Life was sweet as it had been in her youth. Happiness and serenity surrounded her. What in the hell? A dog, a monkey, and a Etana, man. An unlikely trio trained to attack human beings, <laughs> devouring their food with the abandon of wild. This is by far the weirdest freaking play I've seen. All consuming greed had driven the old man to unspeakable evil. <laughs> the miracle peach will bear its child very soon. Will it too be prey to demons? <laughs> I only wonder what class A has. For real. Hey, my appetite uh, everybody hated it! Say what you will about my writing style, <laughs> words leave an unmistakable mark. You know what? From her mind, I could see it. I transported them. What the hell did I just sit through? <laughs> he has my school in his grip. As sure mm -hmm. as if his very tentacles were wrapped around the campus. Even so, carefree though they seem, E class won't get a fairy tale sort of ending. Mm. The Ministry of Defense has big plans, and yet, based on my experience of such things, <laughs> yes, well, the <laughs> he's the running up. Qualified to predict what may happen next is me. Ooh. I can't help but wonder, Cora Sensei, can one be a teacher amidst the coming storm? If it's the coming storm, what is coming? We're gonna have to wait and see. Wow, that first part, my god, I never thought I would have seen that. But let's talk more about it. Let's get into it. Man, that first part caught me right in my tracks. Literally, I had to stop the video in order to regain my thoughts and even talk about what the hell I just saw. And even still, with me thinking in the moment, I was right. I kind of had a feeling that this kid was going to commit suicide. Didn't know how and didn't know why, but shit, man. Because the first part of this episode, really, at least I'll respect it for the fact that, like, we got to finally see something with the principal. We actually got to see his upbringings, how he was like all those years ago. And even still with him being an actual teacher and teaching not even a whole class, but just teaching three kids. Knowing that those kids had the whole world in front of them. And man, just it all it took was just one, one incident and one tragedy in order to break Asano a little bit. Like Principal Asano, in the moment, yes, he was broken, but at least within himself, he realized that, hey, I gotta change up my methods. He wanted to know strength in general. Like, what is strength? Is like everything that I was teaching, was it all for nothing? Like, it was like kind of like when teaching good students, like, oh, do good students deserve to die? And just, he was thinking a lot about in that moment, but within himself, he needed to learn what true strength was. He went through all those things in the growing years. And then eventually he built that new school to inflict all of that knowledge and what he, like what he thought was strength and what he thought was power into all of those kids in that school and even with the old building he left his failures behind and all of the freaking kids that he that we now know in class e he put them all back there he put kids back there that he felt like probably wouldn't be an asset to the world and everything and felt like with their failures and how they ended up like didn't probably deserve to even grow and everything else he used that building and he used class e as an example to the other students and be like, hey, if you wanna continue getting better and if you want to actually be something, 
you can but if you don't you'll fall into where all these kids are in class e so don't do that but now as the year has went on class e has done everything in their power especially with koro sensei with him being the main reason for these kids to be basically what he wants. He wants all of these kids to become strong, to become great, to become knowledgeable, to be a team and to rely off of each other. That embodies Class E. The amount that we've seen Class E go through for the past two seasons with this show has been incredible. Still, the best arc in this show is that freaking island arc from the last season. It was so beautiful for everything that happened. Not even only it was so intense and the tension was high, but you finally got to see after an entire season of all these kids gotten to know each other and experience a lot of the stuff that they experienced in that season finally progress into that arc and show what they are all made of especially with Nagisa man Nagisa easily the best moment out of last season and not even only with Nagisa we got Karma who for the straight second time in a row from midterms and then all the way to the finals number one Karma insane character I love him he's my favorite character in this show just showing that even with doing the work that's what matters doing that work and showing why you are the best talking can only do so much but if you back it up that is where you become an amazing character and a character that everyone is going to love so going forward don't know what else is going to happen in this second core or at least what they probably might start out with but this is the final core of this show we do know that eventually it is going to get really emotional on how they are going to end this show i know all of you guys have been saying that the series finale is one of the best in all of anime I really want to see how they do it. Like, I'm very invested in this show. Koro Sensei is an amazing character that still we need to know what the hell his backstory is. And honestly, we might get it in the next episode. But I know damn well we are getting it in this final core. And we're going to finally see just like who this character is we've seen bits and pieces of this character and even through even some characters like oh you remind me of like my current self or even my past self i want to know that past self i want to know who that lady is that constantly has been telling koro to watch out for these kids or like i don't know if like she mentioned like these kids or just anything else whoever this girl is it probably was his wife or a person that maybe he was seeing or i i don't know all I know is it's got to mean something important, and I know we are damn well going to see what the hell that is. It is going to get crazy as hell coming up in the second core and the final core of this show, so we're going to see what the hell is going to happen. Thank you guys for watching my reaction. If you guys are excited for the rest of Assassination Classroom, and you guys like the channel, like, subscribe, comment down below. And as always, my name is Omzi, and I am out.